Yeah. A little bit of a nod to, to Errors past. Yeah. That's Steve, those Steve Mewtwo friendlies. Um, but we're in. We're locked in with Shrikar and Bro1. Yeah. I forgot what we were talking about. Bro1 cracking through. He's got a shirt with his name on it. Yeah, he's got a shirt with his name on it. Sephiroth, Wolf. Harder than they look. Yeah. And they still playing each other. These characters, I much prefer the Bro1 Wolf to his other... You know, oh, you're being very civil about it. This guy's other characters suck. <laughs> yeah, I like... He's just a wolf guy. Yeah. Even like his hair, even the angles on his face. I think this guy's wolf is so good. Painted. Um, and like really knows how to abuse those wolf hitboxes as well. Um, like tapping the shields with those, like like the disjointed fair and, and up air and... It's nice. I was playing, I was playing Strix in friendlies last night. I think Ernest and Friendly's last night, Trish was watching. Yeah. And whenever I, and I was playing myself, whenever I hit like the Mega Flare, like the fully charged one, yeah. I would do the Oppenheimer. I think. <laughs> like take a deep breath and like take my hat off and like, like put my hand on my temple. Oh. Yeah. I love how Oppenheimer's just become like the bit for your guys' like house. <laughs> it's like really funny. It's so good. Um, it's like for us, like. I don't know how it happened, but like we've just been watching Survivor. <laughs> that is really funny. And Survivor highlights. And, and Connor's just been getting it on Survivor the whole time. That's why he's dressed like that. That's why he's wearing a tank top and yeah, a mullet. Dude. He, he actually thinks looks like a... He thinks he's Tony Vartos. <laughs> the greatest Survivor player of all time. Oh! I wonder if Strix is going to survive this. Actually, he will. He'd be fine. He's separate on the ledge. Oh, yeah, for sure. This character's so funny because, like, on stage, like, in shield, Ooh. like, oh. Like, it's actually not as great when you're on the defensive. But when you're on the defensive on the ledge... You're, you're sitting fine. Oh! Whoa! He's done it! Wow! Yeah. What a stock here from Bro1. Regaining the lead. Wow. And yeah. we're even. Just like that. Both of these players are like very much in their element, I think. Uh, it's a matchup that's like. You know, I wouldn't say it's like super one-sided. But we're just gonna see like... Damn. Oh wow. Okay, he's gone off, that's fine. And like the quick up B as well. Not gonna risk getting dead or anything. I've been seeing that, I've been seeing a lot more people go for the dare on the Zephyroth up B. Yeah. Like, because it doesn't snap. So they go above and they time it just as like it ends and you get the dare. Wing though in this last stock situation. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was gonna say Strix. Oh, Sephiroth so good in the last hits because he's always gonna have the wing. It's definitely oh, wow, oh, right. yeah, the scoop. Wow, that's so good at catching roll. Yeah. And you'd 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 be feeling you'd be feeling a bit down if you were Brady because you you had the early stock take. It was an you incredible the game sequence. Back, you, you're, you're all momentum, and you drop the game. It just feels like Shrix just continually cuts you down, like just like a relentless onslaught of back airs, um, of like side bees which put you on the back foot. Yeah. Like you, you, it is an uphill battle, and you are climbing, you are pushing that boulder, um, and you need to consistently be doing that stuff. Yeah. You can't just get the one dare. You need to be consistently suffocating Sephiroth. Because one thing that is absolutely insane about this character, that is the like the way that he like low-key cheats sets, is that if he back airs your shield twice, sometimes sometimes once if you already have some shield damage, the next one is a poke. Yeah. Like guaranteed. Like it is so easy to shield poke with this character's back air. It comes from the top. And it, it, it's like, and then it pokes you and you die. <laughs> You're off stage and then you get lead trapped. It's so crazy. It, it is nuts. It is like something that doesn't get talked about, how easy it is to shield poke. And if you get, if you shield back air twice, if you don't parry it, like you have to parry this move. Yeah. It, it actually angers me. <laughs> like as a fellow Sephiroth player. As a fellow Sephiroth player, it's like, why does he have this? 
it's like when I play Fox and I'm like, man, this character cheats actually. Like this is like, oh. like the rock, paper, scissors is, is not real. Oh, missing out on that. Uh, yeah. Sephiroth, definitely more tools than most. But, uh, Roy won. He's here as well. <laughs> He's here as well. He's doing that's, your, that's your, like... See, bro, yeah, the, take, the takeaway is that Bro one is present. I mean, that's just, like, that's just it, though. Bro one's just here. Yeah, that, that is Brady's vibes, honestly. Yeah, exactly. Like, I remember, like, we were taking the... After the pre-local, we were, like, taking all the screens back. And I'm just, like, out in the street at night. It's, like, just me. I, like, just finished taking a phone call with, like, my girlfriend or something. Um, and, like, I look around, and there's just Brady there. And he's like, oh, hey, Matter. <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, oh, hey man, like, what are you doing here? He's like, yeah, I, I don't know. I think there are other guys back there. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, yeah. He's just present, and that's his. I like that about Brady. He always feels like he's just happy to be here. Another player who, uh, you can tell, like, enjoys Smash. Yeah. To a certain extent. <laughs> yeah, like, like we all Def do to a certain yeah, extent. Yeah, definitely some uh, choice opinions on a few characters. Uh, with the great don't cheat to win. Don't cheat to win. Insane. Uh, Up there with the raw patrol. Oh, for sure. I think Queensland, the oozes personality. His players are like, they know how to have a good time. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Good movement. Good bait out. And the up tilt. That's going to do it. And the same position as last game. And Broan ended up taking that early, early stock. Let's see if he can uh, whip something up need, again. You need to climb this mountain again. Like, you can't just keep taking these back airs. Like, oh. Crazy. Nice. Good patience. I think like if you can if you can be evasive like that and like let the patience kind of dwindle for the Sephiroth player, eventually Ooh. he does have to start going for this stuff like da like dash attack. Yeah. Like Sephiroth dash attack is so fake, man. Like if you can bait it out and you just like wait for it, you shield it, you get whatever you want. Hell's Gate. Death smash? Wow, no wing. Again, bro one, bringing it back. I'm liking this tempo a little bit more. Right. Weak hit, not gonna do it. Honestly, rewarded for chasing the CQC down as well. Like, being closer to center stage means that back air's not killing, but at 150 it sure is. Damage. Great. Really good. And hey, wings out now. Scream and shout. Oh. Hasn't taken a lick of damage this stock. No. We're all reading. Up smash, not gonna do it. Back off stage. And he can taste it. Taste it, even game. Even set count. But man. Oh. oh. You know when you hit, the, you miss the second one? Never Great. mind. Really good. I was gonna say, you know when you miss the second up smash on shield or second kill move? Yeah. And you're like, hang on, what am I doing? Just a lot. Yeah, Starts creeping gotta... in and then you start to come back on, but bro one. He picked it up so like cleanly. Calm and composed. By the way, he, he's got an awesome skin, Brady. Just a fact, yeah? Yeah, I think he, he just, I don't know, maybe he exfoliates. But look, I think one thing as well, so like in the in the Strix Airbnb, the Jacob house, because uh, we have two Jacobs, um, he was showing how easy it is to punish Sephiroth back air if you can get the parry. He like, was. If you can get the parry, so many of these characters can could just dash attack. Did this happen to be Friday night? Probably. Oh, it might have been last night. Because he 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 gave me the um, like the Metafy lesson for free. Oh really? On, on Sephiroth back here. That's so funny. He was just like, just parry it. And I was like, dude, parried it. Run up up smash. Yeah. Insane. You can get whatever you want after parry on Sephiroth back here. Like it's especially because. Generally what you do is you're like dashing in when the back air comes in, which means like 
Se and Sephiroth doesn't space his back air with the tip. Sephiroth, like, tends to space his back air, like, a little bit inwards, because the tip is, like, weirdly weak and bad. Yeah. It's like in the middle of the sword, right? Yeah, the tip the tip struggles to hit grounded opponents as well. But Brady is taking a lot this first stock. Getting scooped by the up tilt as well. Why does it work like that? It doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm sorry, but like, if you're standing in front of Teleport, uh, Sephiroth. Yeah. Nice stuff here from Tricks. Looking pretty bad this game for Row 1, but hey, this is how every game's been going so far. Oh wow, no way. Getting that conversion is so scary. Okay. Hey, get rid of this man. Delete him and his wing all at once. Oh. Oh. Uh, all right, yeah. Kick the hilt of the sword. You're fine. By the way, he had super armor there as well. So if he just hit Sephiroth, it wouldn't have done that. Yeah. He had to clank with the sword with the dash attack to live. A brush from, like, a, a miracle. And now, Trikar's clank technique. Dastardly. Oh, and the, the bomb. Okay. I don't know how Rowan's going to take this stock. Tricks. Oh. Okay. And wow. On town. The other side of the stage, just not enough horizontal, not enough vertical. Yeah, that'll look short. Sure. Nice. But at 166. Good. I mean. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Here's something. Only 17. Bro, I'm scary. Okay. You're alright. Oh! oh! What is this? What is this? <laughs> what a madman! Dude, Bro, one second stock is a different player, dude. He even that one right back up. He's so happy with that trade. That's crazy as well to have the confidence to go for that and to confirm perfectly. Go down for like a double nair back air in the bottom blast zone. That ruins you if you're Strix, by the way. Oh, like, yeah. Mentally. Like, so that that's... being said, Strix, bringing it back very nicely. But now you're like, dude, Row one's got that. He'll do it. Yeah, he will do that to you. Yeah. Like, give him the opportunity. And suddenly, like, camping it out is not as easy for Strix. But he's got to get up this ledge. Brady. Wow. So scary. Ooh. Wolf Wolf hopping around your shield. Not where you want to be in Sephiroth, but oh Dr. Rory. Working Dude. so far. That like the Sephiroth up tilt actually like Dude, I feel like it's even. It's definitely not. <laughs> it is it is definitely not even. But hey, no wing for Strix. A tilt? That's a strong hit. Yeah. That'll take game three. That will obliterate well. you, but Strix is actually like <laughs> He, that is a miracle that he took that. Like, after that second stock, you are shaking in your boots. I know if I'm getting hit by that, I'm like, damn. Like, like you might just, like, I would just get up. <laughs> Should be like, well played, man. Like, like, you deserve two for that one. Wow. Getting some waves in the crowd. He needs it. <laughs> That's really funny. This is like... Actually going to be such a hairy game. That's my prediction. Yeah. I think it's going to be quite hairy. They picked the Halo theme Oh, as the well. Gilded Mix again. 
Uh, this is the Bro 1 pick, obviously. Oh, for sure. This guy is actually what a Halo Spartan looks like under the um, under the armor. Chisel. Like, yeah, like... Wow. That's so oh, money. Wow. That's so insane. And you know what? Like, that's objectively the best thing you can do there. Like, once you have the flare, you can put the gas on because they really want to get to the ledge. Oh, yeah. Um, like, you know that they're trying to recover ASAP because if they get hit by the flare off stage. All right. Have Try one fist bump. So, you know what? We take those. And given how the set's been going, I would not be feeling as confident to do that if I was tricks. Uh, I think if you take that there, when the game score is 2-1, you win. I think that that option that Strix went for would have won him the set. So, you know what? Sometimes I'll take the bet. Sometimes I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll take the risk. But... Before, too quickly before I said anything, Strix again with a stock lead. Just, it's so devastating actually for Brady here. Dash back side B, like brutal option. No, you can't. No, like, yeah. Just a lapse of judgment there. And that'll be doing like a nice twenty percent. Okay. Oh. Wow. I don't know, you're looking to end it in style or what? Yeah, he's just... He's going for a few crazy reads. Yep. You're at 140. Oh. See you later. And the fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> Hate to see it go like that, but... You know. And bro, one, he, you know what? I think... Top eight winners. I'd I'd be. Uh, you definitely could have won that set. Mm. And you think this is one of the best players of all time? Yeah. For Ultimate in Australia. Yeah. This and is I just went toe to toe. Strix. It is wasn't a bad performance whatsoever. Like objectively, one of the best players Australia has produced. Um, and like. Oh yeah. Plays in a very in a way that is like, like oftentimes very hard to keep up with. I think you have to be really happy with that, especially. Especially playing Wolf Sephiroth, like, clearly, like, it wasn't like a wash with flashes of greatness. Yeah. It was, it was like, this was toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, 